All right, not much going on in the forecast this week, but the snow over the weekend and earlier this week have been allowing winter sport enthusiasts to have just a few more options to choose from these days. In this week's Outside Edge, we are taking on some cross-country skiing and meteorologist Mallory Brooke joins us now with a preview. Hey, Mallory. Hey, Cindy, Amanda, the, the snowfall on Saturday was so needed, not only for the downhill ski areas, but also, also for some trail centers to reopen these activities that can really only be helped by Mother Nature. And of course, the demand for the use of these centers is really at an all time high. We've seen a lot of people starting in October. We had a lot of people come to our tent sale and a lot of people coming in to buy equipment. And um, a lot of people who have said to me, like, things like, I am really a downhill skier, but I just don't know what's going to happen this year. And I don't know if I can get out on the trails. Or I used to be a cross-country skier 20 years ago, and I just want to get back into it because I want to get outside. And I think we've heard that sentiment a lot already this winter. I went out cross-country skiing today locally, and the pack powder conditions have held up really well thanks to the cold air that has been settled into the region, which is always very helpful to keep the snow around. And as we go into the next couple of days, if you are planning to go cross-country skiing, you've done it before and you know the lingo, a lot of the areas haven't set a track yet because that's for the classic cross-country skiing. The snowfall just wasn't enough without having to do up a little bit of dirt in it so something to keep in mind if you are uh, if you're going to head out to those trails but with a few more inches it should be able to set that classic track good Mallory you mentioned it a lot of people trying out new winter sports this year to get outside can someone with no equipment and no prior knowledge just kind of get up on skis yeah, you know, each trail center usually offers rentals and lessons, and it's really affordable as well. Rentals run for about 10 to $20, and you'll just want to make sure that you check online to see if you have to make reservations for these things beforehand. Uh, if you're not up for skiing, but you still want to get outside, most trail centers do have fat biking available. You can rent snowshoes or you can just enjoy the outdoors and so you can get out on the trails. So plenty of options for being outside. The one activity that is still a little bit at a standstill is snowmobiling. You really need a solid foot of snow to come down to create a consistent base for those trails. So that's something that we're still waiting for a little bit more opportunity for those snow snowmobilers to have. We need a little bit more snow on that. Yeah, we sure do. All right, Mallory, good information and advice. Thanks always. Be sure to catch this week's Outside Edge tonight at 6 and on our website.